they then moved on to the Saboteur um, opens with the trailer that's been available since last week uh, they're claiming it's sandbox style sort of World War 2 stealth hopefully better than Velvet Assassin but that's not going to be difficult um, they're basically saying that climbing anything is possible including the Eiffel Tower uh, you can wear like Nazi disguises looking pretty interesting um, they did sort of the game looks a little bit strange to be honest though uh, it's sort of black and white in styling but points of interest are basically done in colour uh, which when you look at the fact that since the next gen consoles have come out all you've basically had is greys and browns it's not exactly a good move or inspiring uh, the explosions didn't look particularly good either um, but when you look at its early days the concept's pretty good and I can see they're probably going to give the graphics a bit of a tweak and it's I'd say it's probably one to watch uh, they then had a little bit more information about Brutal Legend the Jack Black game uh, apparently he's recorded uh, I think they said it was like 2,600 lines of dialogue um, I'm hoping that it's going to be basically original dialogue and not the same thing like you kill an enemy and hear the same line 18 times in a level uh, they've also confirmed Ozzy's going to be in the game uh, Bleak the Ford, uh, Benny Killmeister and they're due for an October release uh, then more news about Crisis 2 it's going to be across all platforms except from the Wii and the releases are going to be simultaneous on all systems uh, they're using the CryEngine 3 there's no in-game footage at all including trailers it was literally just screenshots then one that definitely piqued my interest um, oh, it's Bar Barry Jones or something one of the guys that was behind the original um, Grand Theft Auto games he's talking about a game they're working on called APB basically claiming that it's a um, typical sort of GTA type thing with an online city with thousands of citizens going about their daily business uh, typical sort of aim of the games fame and fortune yeah, really breaking boundaries there yeah. but um, the one thing that does look interesting about it they're talking the fact that you're going to have literally a hundred players in the game at any one time which basically all doing the same sort of thing sort of um, MMO in styling but on the lines of like a Grand Theft Auto or Saints Row game uh, they showed a trailer of sorts which I'll actually upload when I start doing EA's game section uh, basically showing like cops chasing large groups of thugs, thugs all meeting downtown I'm guessing each one of the basically done as if it's everyone that's actually playing the game all meeting up at one spot you then add high production type sort of thing with the um, they had like Jedi's and whatever you coming out Sith and whatever uh, basically you had the two guys behind it then coming up the centre of the audience dressed up as Jedi and whatever and uh, the announcement I'm not 100% sure whether I'm happy about it or not I'm guessing this is just going to be on the PC uh, it's the new uh, Knights of the Old Republic Star Wars game uh, but they're doing it like an MMO uh, they're saying it's going to be the first fully voiced MMO with each character having exactly its own voice which okay by the way I've got a lot of respect for you but it's not something that's vitally important for any game I mean it's a nice touch but I'd rather you focus on the depth of game the gameplay instead of giving each individual NPC its own voice. Uh, they showed a trailer. <coughs> In the trailer, you had um, ship going to chorus and some Sith killing some guards. Uh, Boba Fett style bounty hunter shows up working with them. And ship crashes into the side of a building. You got loads of Sith fighting loads of Jedi. Uh, the head Jedi loses to the head Sith and then you get the voice come in of your Republic shall fall which then closed out the conference uh, the game itself got a pretty good reaction from everyone that was in attendance um, I'd say overall if it wasn't for Bioware being there it wouldn't have been a particularly good conference I mean kicking off with kids games that no one in the actual place cares about at all 
uh, Sims game which doesn't break any boundaries and to have your opening thing as basically a video where you're not giving any information at all not exactly the most smart I have ideas um, when you look at the amount of games that are actually showcased when you have Microsoft come out obviously they're going to be doing as much as they can but EA need to learn that it's not about quantity you need to be showing quality the comic touches that were in the press conference weren't funny at all and EA Sports has just angered me this especially with this EA more than uh, with this E3 more than any other I mean I've gone through I'll explain it at some later date the problems that I've been having with um, FIFA 09's ultimate team mode is beyond a joke I've got very little time when it comes to EA Sports again but I'm starting to get off track um,